It is Workout Wednesday, and today I am bringing a little guest to help us count um, my shirt. Talk birdie to me, all right? A uh, little shout out to my friend Pat, thank you. Today is our inner thigh and try workout suggested by my daughter Jenna. So Jenna, I hope you're doing this. All right, Maui, you're gonna count for us? All right, guys, let's start with some warm-ups, okay? We are going to roll our shoulders back, have a nice wide stance with your legs, and let's do one shoulder roll at a time. We are going to start in about 40 seconds with some side lunges. And uh, the first set or two, let's have zero weights, just so we can warm our bodies up. Do one more on each side. Wide stance, take a nice deep breath up. Inhale, exhale, give me one more. And then you're going to walk to the right side of your screens, of your monitors. And uh, we're on the clock. We're going to lunge to your left side. Two, one, let's go. This is just the warm up. I want you to work on taking a nice big step to your left side. We're gonna do this for 40 seconds. And the first set, like I said, is just going to be our nice warm up. How are we doing today? Are we good? I've got my nice little guest, literally, when I say little, he's little. And uh, you guys like my shirt? Five seconds, and we're going to move on over to the other side. Good. You have 20 seconds. So do a couple shoulder rolls, back and then forward. Interlace your hands behind your backs. Okay, let's bring those feet together, release those arms. Take a deep breath. Let's go. I am wearing no shoes, no socks. I'm on my yoga mat so I can really grip my toes into the floor. The next round, instead of a stretch, I want you to go and grab your weights if you have them. And then that will increase the intensity factor just a little bit. If you do not have weights, no problem, right? I will absolutely show you modifications for every exercise. In four seconds, I'm gonna ask you to grab those weights for me right now. Okay, what are you thinking now, huh? Same exercise, guys. I'm going to progress it. We are going to go down to our knee and then back up to starting position in five seconds. Now, two, one, begin. If you do not I repeat, do not have weights, or maybe you're a little tired this morning. I want you to continue, and I want you to reach down a little further than I am with those weights, okay? Sound good? Chest up, shoulders are back. We have 12 remaining seconds, and then in between, we're going to do an inner thigh squat pulse for 10 seconds right now. This is just an active filler. Hold it down and pulse. So I'm starting to take out those rests, those stretches, and we're good. Stand up, move to your side. Five seconds, we're going to lunge to your right. Ready? Let's go. Whatever you did on your opposite side, please stay consistent and do it on this side. All right. And please don't forget about your postures. We have 20 seconds remaining. Today's workout is all about the inner thighs and tries. You will need a chair, or if you're doing this in a gym, like Jenna is, hopefully. You can use a bench. 
and that will be for our dips, okay? One more second. Wide stance with the legs, inner thigh pulses, and then we're gonna repeat, and I want you guys to go down just a little bit further on that next set. All right, push it up. Move to your right. You ready? Let's go all the way down. Try to touch your dumbbells right outside that left foot. With this one, please don't rush it. When you get down, I want you to look forward. I want you to look at your monitors, your TV screens, wherever you're doing this. Okay, you have 15 remaining seconds. Really use the strength in that left leg to push up and off the floor. Okay guys, you're gonna give me one more and you're there. Go back to those inner thigh pulse squats. Oh yeah. Now we're getting warm, right? Can you get a little lower? And now push yourself up, walk on over. Five seconds, take a nice deep breath, touch the floor, begin. Right outside that right foot. So these side lunges are one of my favorites. Get your hips, get your gluteals, and of course, ding, 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 your inner thighs. Inner thighs and tries. That's a t-shirt. Good, are you looking forward? Are you sticking your gluteals back? We have 12 seconds. And then we are going to go into pulse inner thigh squats for the last time in this segment, which is now. Okay, so set yourself up, come down. Now let's pulse. We're gonna stay here now. And I'm gonna add on to this. And once again, if you don't have weights, try to get down a little lower, all right? Good. Now, drop those dumbbells right in the center. How's your posture? Pull your shoulders back. Can you get lower? You feeling it? You have 20 seconds. I wanna stand up when you hear that beep, and then we're gonna get right back down. Remember that active recovery? It was pulse squats. We're gonna do it again. In six seconds. Three, two, push it up. Come down, and now we're back to pulses. All right, guys. So here's your active recovery. Shoulders are back. And in six seconds, we're gonna stand up, which is now. Lift your right heel off the floor and 40 seconds here. So my right heel is elevated. Let's see if I can get this a little bit better for you guys. Okay, yeah, here we go. And so now we're really working inner thighs again, but really getting into that right inner thigh, right? In 12 seconds, you will go back to that active recovery. Remember that? Five seconds. That's those inner thigh pulse squats, which is now pulse, chest up, shoulders are back. Good. Getting a little warmer, guys. Can you get down deeper? All right. In five seconds, you stand up with strength, which is now. Let's lift, left heel, down and up. We are on our left side. 40 seconds. Get down really deep. Squeeze the gluteals at the top of the movement. When you hear the beep, we hold it down and we go back to that active recovery set in 10 seconds. Come on, you can get lower than that. Let's go. 
four, three, two, one. Both heels drop, pulse. All right. How are we feeling? Are we good? If you need to take a break at all, press pause, get some water, whatever works for your workout, and stand up. Good, again, lift your right heel. This time, I want pulses. I want you to drop those arms. Good, and your arms are straight. Your shoulders are back. So this is your next sequence. Oh yeah, now we're feeling it. We're halfway. In less than 20 seconds, we put our weight or our hands back onto our mid thighs and we go into our active recovery in seven seconds. Can you get lower? Start to shake and you're here and pulse. Good. So I didn't go up, didn't stand up. You hear my dog? He's jealous. He knows my bird. Can you see my bird? Let me try to move him. Okay, so in four seconds, we're gonna stand up. Then right now, lift your left heel, come down. Oh yeah, you know the drill. So we're pulsing with our left heel elevated for 40 seconds. Good, come down, dropping those gluteals, pulling those shoulders back up. I hear the pitter patter. And ladies and gentlemen, it is Kobe Destro. You're not missing anything. 10 seconds, doing a video, sweetheart. Uh, <laughs> this working together from home thing is a lot of fun, everybody. And now, heels down, drop, and pulse. Wanna do some inner thighs, sweetheart? No, I'm good, thanks. Okay, great. All right, so. In 10 seconds, we stand up with strength. We squeeze our gluteals. Get ready for some basic squats, which is now. Whew, drop down and up and down. Good. I figured I'd get some nice full range of motion going. When you get your breath back, your strength, play with your depth. And a reminder here to really get your inner thighs. Our toes are turned out to the sides. Ah, beautiful. In eight seconds, you finish up this whole series by holding it down, which is now. You know the drill, let's go. Pulse, yeah, 20 seconds. Actually a little less than, then we're gonna do two more rounds of the side lunges. So, why don't we stand up, go on over to your mat. I want you to get down as low as you can. All right. And as wide as you can to that left side. Really step that left foot out. Good. Yeah. Don't forget, look forward. Don't forget, if you don't have weights, get down, nice and deep. 10 remaining seconds, then yes, you will do those pulse squats in the center and stop. Let's set up, wide stance. We have about 10 seconds. Then we're gonna move to our left. Love it. And let's push up, move to our left. <sighs> yes, ready, lunge, get down nice and deep, and feet together. And when you stand up, shoulders back, squeeze your glutes. Good. I would say right now, you are warmed up. You with me? We're over halfway. Then, actually, I'm gonna add one more pulse set because it's for your setup. I'm gonna need you to get a chair. 
And my apologies for not telling you that in the beginning of your workout. Three seconds and good. Pulse squats. And now in 15 seconds, you're gonna hear the beep. When you hear the beep, I'm gonna use that time for you to set up your chair, okay? And then we will push through the routine, which is now. Okay, get your chair, guys. Please put your weights down. How you doing, Matt? You good? Are we good? <laughs> okay, so whenever you're ready, please join me. Feet on the floor, chest up, shoulders back. We have 20 seconds. It's a perfect way to start. Really extend those arms. Nine seconds. And what I'm gonna do, when you hear the beep, we're going to hold it up, lift your left leg, lift your right, lift your left leg, lift your right. There are no breaks here. If you need one, just sit your bottom right back down on your chair. Good. And stop. Ready? Go. This one, 40 seconds of dips. Hello, triceps. Inner thighs and tries. I love it, Jenna. I hope you're doing this workout down in Miami, girl and extend those arms. We have 18 seconds, then I'm gonna give you a break. And we'll do a nice tricep stretch. 10 seconds. Get down lower, guys. Four, three, two, you made it. Take that right arm and pull it across the back of your body. Take your left arm. Do the same thing. Shake them out. Oh yeah. Talk birdie to me. In four seconds, we take it from the top. Are you ready? Feet down. You wanna make this harder? Walk your legs out towards me. Okay guys, let's continue. Really extending those arms up. I'm gonna take away some of your break. And please notice where those dumbbells are. I'm gonna give you an inner thigh active recovery. So if they're not close, make sure you can quickly grab them. In six seconds, we hold it at the top, which is now lift right leg and left. Come on, let me see your best Rockets. Oh yeah. Dun 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 have a seat. Quick shake. Three. One more set. Ready? Let's go. 40 seconds straight through. No can can, no rockets. Just you, your strength, and those triceps. Oh yeah. When you hear the beep. You're gonna move your chair. You're gonna go grab your dumbbells and we are going back to our inner thighs. 14 remaining seconds. Whew. Nine, push, five, four, three, two, you did it. You have 20 seconds, let's move. You know the drill. Pulse squats to start in 10 seconds. I'm gonna give you a moment. How you doing, Matt? You feel these in your inner thighs? <laughs> Wide stance, ready? Okay. So this is what we're doing now. We're gonna do uh, 40 seconds of pulse squats. Your active recovery, you are not gonna get up from this squat position. Your active recovery will be lifting that right heel off the floor, and you're gonna continue your pulse squats. Good? So that's occurring, happening in eight seconds. 
five. Yeah, I'm starting to shake now, baby. Now, hold it down. Lift that right heel, pulse. So this is where you have to dig deep. When you're done, you'll hear that beep. I want you to quickly stand up in five seconds. All right, and then we're going to sit back down. Now, pulse, chest up, shoulders back. Both heels are on the floor. So we pulse here. Can you get lower? I just caught myself. I went up a little too high. When you hear the beep, you are going to stay down. You're not going to stand up. And that's gonna happen in 12 seconds. You stay down and I want you to lift that left heel up and you will finish this round in two, one, stay down. Heel stays up on the left. We pulse for 20 seconds. Whew. Yeah, come on. I'm here with you. So is Maui, we got you. <laughs> In four seconds, you stand up with strength. Now, grab your chair, put your weights down. How are we doing? Are we good? Yes? Okay. We're gonna finish what we started. Give me those dips. All right. Hi, Mel. 20 seconds to go. Let's do it. Down and up. When you're done, you're gonna hear that beep. You're not, I repeat, you're not gonna sit down. We're gonna hold yourself in that up position. Three seconds. Right now, hold it. Dun, 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 dun. Okay? This is your final push here with your dips, with your chair, with your bench. In five seconds, we do not, do not sit down. Let's go. 40 seconds. We've got this. Right, Mel? Down and up. All right, guys. In 25 seconds, you are done with the dips. You will join me on the floor. And we're gonna go into more inner thighs and tries in nine seconds. Come on, you got this. Four, three, two, and one. We did it, okay. You have 20 or more seconds. Let's move the chair. And I'm gonna adjust this so you guys can see me down here, okay. How are we doing? Are we good? Let's lie down on your right side. Actually, you know what? Lie down on your backs. Lie down on your backs. Hug your knees and towards your chest. I forgot about this one. Plant your right foot on the floor. Take your left foot above your right knee. Just give yourself a push. and then switch sides. Right ankle, right foot, above that left knee. Once you hear the beep, I'm gonna ask you to set up for some bridges. So now, my feet, soles of my feet are together, okay? They're glued, 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 glued. Heels, all my toes are together. Arms down, you ready? We're gonna lift up, and we're gonna drop. We're gonna lift and we're gonna drop. I really want you guys to squeeze at the top of the movement. Inner thighs, squeeze. And please keep your knees away from each other. When you hear the beep, no recovery here. We're gonna hold our hips up in 10 seconds and we're going to pulse. 
So lift and squeeze. Let's hold it up here now, guys. And now let's pulse. Are your toes touching each other? If you're wearing sneakers, the soles of your shoes. Good. And now drop it down. Turn and face me. Lie on your right hand side. And bottom leg straight. I want you to pulse up to the height of your left knee. Your right leg is nice and straight. Nice and straight up at the height of your left knee. My foot is flexed. A little bit more inner thighs here. When you hear the beep, we will quickly turn over onto your other side in seven seconds. You're doing great, keep it up. And you are there, okay. Lie on your left side. And please make sure your weights are close to you, okay? And we're gonna take our right leg, lift that bottom left leg up nice and high. Make sure your foot is flexed and why don't we start? Okay. Um, what I wanna make sure you're not doing is kinda, if you wanna look at me for a moment, kinda rolling back here. I want you to lean forward giving me your abdomen, giving me those hips, right? Facing your monitors. Lift up that leg and pulse it. When you're done with this, in 15 seconds, we're gonna turn over on our backs and we're gonna go right into those bridges again with the soles of your feet together. And on this next set, please make sure your weights are handy and let's turn over on your back. Now would be a good time just to make sure you have your weights in case you are OCD like me and you don't want to stop, God forbid, your, your monitors or your, uh, the flow of your workout. Okay, we're gonna lift, soles of your feet together. Let's lift up, ready, lower and lift. So now we're back on to the 40 seconds. One thing, here that your body may want to do is have those knees come in a little closer because then your hamstrings and gluteals can take over a little bit of your work. Please don't allow that to happen. Keep those knees draped out to the side. And how about that tiny lit, little bit of inner thigh squeeze? Give me one more. Let's hold it up and pulse. Okay. We're in our active recovery now. I hear you. You're like, what? No, no, this is not recovery at all. In eight seconds, I want you to grab your dumbbells and we're gonna go into our triceps. Three, two, and one. Okay. Tries. Drop them down to the floor and let's press. A lot is going on here. Lower backs pulling into the floor. Full extension of those arms. When you hear the beep, we will single the arms and start to pick up the tempo in four seconds. I'm gonna hold it up so I'll show you. Drop the right and left and right and left. Drop, drop. Let's continue the arms. Hear me out. Oopsies. Lift your legs up in tabletop. My balls. The, uh, <laughs> not my balls. <laughs> my picture of the, okay, I'm just going <laughs> to, and now uh, drop both arms and push. My picture of the disco balls I just hit. It's one of my favorites. Oh, I love it. Talk birdie to me, huh? Thank you, Miss Pat. Love my shirt. <laughs> we have 14 remaining seconds. How are we doing? 
So we're gonna do the same thing. You know how I love walking the legs? I did this last week for the abs. So if you're doing that with me, you know the drill, right? So hold the arms and drop the one and one. We are continuing the arms. Extend the legs up. If you wanna work on your flexibility, make them straight. Okay, hold both up together and drop both down and push and down. Yeah, and down. So I started this cycle off by saying, this is a lot and it is. I want you to really make nice straight arms, dropping those dumbbells down by the sides of your heads, straightening them up all the way towards the ceiling. And I'm sorry about this one, guys, if you don't have weights at home, grab a, a can of corn, right? Keep the legs up, single the arms. Let's go. Down, down, down. Oh yeah. Straighten those legs. And now, table top legs. One more in each, both arms. Drop, down, and push. So again, if you're following my workouts, you know walking the legs up and down, right? So we are in our second to last leg position. And I know those arms are burning, at least I hope they are burning in a great, great way. 10 seconds, you're going to go into the single arms. In five. Are you ready? Yes, you are. Drop one and one and drop. Be sure not to let those elbows move too far away from you. Drop your feet down, continue the arms, readjust your pelvic tilt, ready? This is your final set here. You've got this. Good. How straight are you making those arms? Exhale through your mouths as you're pressing those arms up. How you doing, Maui? Talk birdie to me, baby. All right. In 10 seconds, we are going to use that last 20 seconds of recovery, and which is now single the arms. Okay. Oh my gosh, my inner thighs just started shaking. I love it. Good, push and push. Five seconds, you will get a break. Yes, we love that. You're there. Woo! Hug those knees in towards your chest, guys. And that really annoying ding was the end of our workout. But I'm thinking we can definitely do one more tricep, right? Because we definitely did a lot of inner thighs. So let's see where my timer is going to go. Whenever you're ready, Roll over to one side as it's safer on your lower backs to sit up. Activity completed. <laughs> or so she thinks. Okay, so um, there's a couple of different ways that you could sit, okay? And take one of your dumbbells, sit cross-legged. I want you to fully extend that right arm. You ready? Give me 20. So push and lower. If you cannot sit this way with cross-legged, you're on four, you can put your legs out here, five. I know many of us have tight hips, but that's not to say we can't stretch them and loosen them up a little bit, right? Nine, 10. I want you to work on your nice tall postures, 13. 14. Again, you're going to give me 20 repetitions, 
okay? And then we're gonna go into your opposite arm. Two more. Yes, and good. Adjust, readjust, legs, spinal column, sit up nice and tall. This is it. This is your finale, okay? Drop it down and push down. Yeah. And you don't wanna rush this because that full range of motion, that bottom of your dumbbell should be coming to the top of your spinal column, right? You're on eight and push, nine. Once again, this is too much on your hips, 10. You can put, you can put your legs out almost straight, 12, 13, 14, yes. Last five guys and your workout Wednesday inner thighs and tries is complete. Yeah, ooh, 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 ooh. drop it down. Let's have a, a quick goodbye from our, from our mascot. Come on, baby, say goodbye. Oh, don't be fresh. Oh, he doesn't want to say goodbye. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank you. You did great. Namaste.